Yeah, I mean, I look at the stat sheet, and I didn't realize it was this much, but it said we had 41 bench points, which is which is a lot. Um, you know, we pride ourselves on that. That's something that we do the last several years. Last year, I thought it was a big part of, of our deal. We play a lot of guys, and, you know, we like to think the, the, the philosophy is that, you know, you can play with a relentlessness about you, and then by having a lot of guys that can do that, and you know, a fresh body comes in when somebody's tired, the hope is to be able to wear our opponent down, um, and, and you know I thought our bench was was phenomenal tonight. Um, give a lot of credit to Ed and and his program. I have a ton of respect for him. Uh, I've said this before. He was he was very good friends with uh, my mentor Skip Prosser, and he was on a trip to Kuwait, um, uh, um, where they went and lived on a. Uh, on a military base and coached basketball for two weeks. I think Jay Billis was on the trip, Ed Conroy, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Mike Bray, and then Skip died a month later. And um, I remember when he came back from the trip and he had so many awesome new ideas and, and, and all this stuff from his time spent with Ed and all those other guys. And Ed said he has two letters from Skip from the time they got back to when he died, you know, kind of – documenting their trip and talking about that. So every time I see Ed and talk to Ed, we talk about Skip, and it warms my heart because I love to talk about Coach Prosser. And um, so Ed's a great dude, uh, phenomenal coach, very difficult to prepare for. They have a deal. They have a system. you got to be on it. Uh, we struggled at, at, at times, especially in the first half, with their attacking. You know, they attack you on drives, and he manipulates body so well to create driving lines. Um, and he's building something there, and they're going to be they're going to be really really good. We say our city around here. That's our slogan. That's like our roll tide. That's our rallying cry. But in no way, shape, or form do I say it's our city. It's not the Citadels. It's both of our cities, right? And um, that's an elite institution. Ours is an elite institution. We share this great city. So I think the fact that we have this rivalry uh, uh, started back up again is a really really good thing for Charleston. And um, it was a hard fought game tonight. Yeah, you know, and I said this on the radio, uh, so many people like in the summer and then early in the season and preseason, they were like, well, was he, so is he like Ryan? I'm like, no, he's not like Ryan Larson. <laughs> They're different. They're different players. Um, Ryan was a great player, great leader, great point guard, and I think CJ has the ability to be a, gr a, a great point guard as well. They're just different. Um, CJ is, is j the, the game moves so slow to him. In, in, you know, I, I mean, I coached Chris Paul when I was at Wake Forest. I was an assistant, and Chris Paul had like a, like a beautiful mind in basketball, and he he could see things two steps in advance, and things move slow. And I'm not comparing him to Chris Paul in any way, shape, or form, but that's kind of how he plays. You know, he never gets sped up. You can't rattle him. He makes the right play every time. I think he had five assists, no turnovers in the last game. I think he had eight assists, one one turnover tonight. Listen. Last year at Lafayette, he led the country in assist-to-turnover ratio. Um, and he's got weapons around him. You know, James Scott's like – it's like having – for a point guard like CJ, it's like having a Maserati next to him on those pick and rolls. Uh, I thought we did a really good job on our pick and roll tonight. You know, they they deploy kind of what's called a drop coverage. That's the NBA terminology for what they do. Um, and we were able to do a good job of screening the guard, which – allowed CJ to kind of have a two-on-one on, on the big and got James, you know, some highlight lobs, and I thought that was really good. I thought Frankie Policelli played probably his best game in a Charleston uniform, but he's been really, really good for us this year. Four offensive rebounds, did a great job on the defensive end. Um, and, then, and then it was great to see the freshmen finish the game, right, have all those guys on the floor for the last three or four minutes, and I thought those guys did a really good job as well. Extremely efficient offensively. I mean, uh, points per possession, this is the analytics speak, but 1.26 points per possession is high-level offensive basketball, um, 18 assists and eight turnovers. So I'm proud of our guys. They continue to get better. They continue to grow. Um, 
you know, I used to say this to you guys all the time last year, and it was just like, this team's just about the next thing, and it's about the process, and that's how this team's doing it, right? They, the film sessions are high level. Uh, uh, guys are locked in in every single walkthrough, every practice. We'll have an off day tomorrow because we've had a little bit of a gauntlet here, and it's a true off day for the first time in a long time. And by a true off day, I say they don't have any academics. They just finished exams. They just came through a really, really tough stretch where they had papers, exams, and a bunch of games. A lot of times during finals, you don't play games. We played several of them during finals. So it'll be really good for those guys to clear their mind, uh, recover their bodies, and then come back together with, for two really good days of preparation to get ready for Coastal. You all said eight letters early. We used to talk about them as a back of a baseball card. About the, uh, <laughs> the, the that's it. Uh, the shots weren't falling then, but it seems like the shots are starting to fall now. Yeah. I mean, really, really good teams, and we're going to, I think we're becoming a really, really good team. Um, they win regardless of whether the shot goes in or not. And, you know, th those games when we weren't shooting really well, we're still right there at winning time in the last eight minutes. We just didn't finish with the grit and tenacity that we had. But, I, yeah, that's what I said to you guys. We are a really, really good shooting team. We recruit shooting, you know, and the back of the bubblegum card says that we're going to be doing what we're doing now, and it all evens out. Yeah. How different yeah. So uh, I I do want to say Cliff uh, is a legend. First of all, um, an icon in our business. He was very very good to me when I was a rookie head coach at Winthrop in 2013. Took me under his wing, gave me good advice, looked out for me. So I'm always appreciative to him. I've known Benny for a long time as well. Uh, well deserving of that job. Um, I'm sure he's going to put his own stamp on it a little bit. They've played one game, uh, you know, under his charge. I obviously haven't watched any film yet because I never do on our next opponent until the previous game's done. Uh, when you say Coastal, it says rivalry to me because at Winthrop, Coastal and Winthrop were heated rivals. So uh, it's always kind of cool when we play Coastal. They're, they're tough. They're physical. They always are. They're nasty on the backboard. They got very, very talented players. And that was a, that was a tough game you know, at Coastal a couple of weeks ago. So it'll be the same thing um, on what day of the week is it right now? Is that a, today's Thursday? I don't even know. All right, guys, thank you.